My friends, welcome back. We are playing as uh, the United Earth uh, in Star Trek New Horizons, of course. Um, our influence is getting to a horrible, horrible low state. It's now going to be taking us almost a year or even more. Considering we will only make 12 influence a year. Oh no, that's not true. Six, because we're making... A little bit over and half, but I don't care to uh, calculate the uh, remaining six. It's not important. What we need to be doing is making sure the Endorians just don't hate us. And I was hoping that we would expand into the Our Vulcans. presence would indicate that diplomacy um, has failed. Is this we correct? can offer them association status. We'll do that. Let's just offer them association status. Hopefully the Tellarites will accept. And I think it's been done. So they are now... Challenge your preconceptions or they will challenge you. That is so darn loud. So... Inviting the coalition is now at a negative 39. Relative distance. And I'm actually would like to look into the possibility of doing a trade deal but negative 39 is quite quite expensive and our maximum trust can go up to 100 so that's 50 more perhaps we don't need to do anything and we just have to uh, give it some time I doubt yes. that war can be avoided this time no, war will be avoided we can not give them association status due to the Telluride I don't know what's their problem with the Tellarites. I I don't know much about the, the law. So if you do know, let me know in the comment section. I would highly appreciate it. So let's continue. We are still doing the expense mission and I will be butchering a lot, a lot more sentences. I can promise you that. So let's see. How is Earth doing? We have a available job, which is quite interesting to me. We, uh, let's pause here, shipboard activities, a worthwhile initiative, because it is important. Let's not unpause, because we need to do, uh, we need to work that. What do we need? Are there ways? No. We could go with the heroic landmark, getting more unity, because I think it is quite low. Why not? We can make this into an artisan city, and... Yeah, well, with there's no real need to do anything else. We can, of course, boost the uh, commercial districts. 5% on 61. Yeah, it is quite nice to fill all of these up. It's, uh, it's not bad. We have 13 left. So we'll have to make a decision eventually. Let us not... Well, we are. Let's build the heroic landmark over here. Mars is how far away from getting a population? Mm, well, it's not taking them too long. Fletchling, you are building up nicely. I like it. Two people, no jobs. The next one that will spawn will create a job and will go into agricultural. So we're going to be a large scale field. And this will provide us with more food, so we can actually do more of the um, encouraged planetary growth. Which I think is really important, especially early on with the humans, since they don't have actually... Well, they don't have that good a, uh, a bonus. Oh, I don't really want to know them. A new ruler. What is your mandate? Uh, we need to research this actually. And on board a cat, let's go here. You control shift, research that project. What else? We need to get a plus 12, and I would really like to do that. And it can be obtained quite easily once Mars gets that one population. And the devastation on Earth is slowly going out. We'll do this one later. Not right now. Anomalies, we don't have any. So, here we go. Months of investigation have led Captain John Van Arch to the Zindi mining colony. Where Gimo site, a key 
element used in the Xenotide probe attack on Earth is being produced in a huge quantity. The mines appear to be surrounded by a number of small settlements with layout suggesting civilian use. With enough, uh, enough time and materials we could fashion a series of explosive charges that would destroy the, uh, the, um, the chemo site mines while avoiding damaging, damaging the civilian structures. But any delay would allow us in the collect more chemicals for the next weapon. We're going to be sending him to the colony. Um, but there's one thing that I would like to do because we know where this might eventually lead to. So before we continue, let's go to ship designer. Let's get you out of the way. Uh, no changes. There is actually, there is probably the polarizing hull. Hmm, chance to evade. Can we do something else in here? No. Tracking is not too important. Warp speed, science. Yeah, this is all good. Let's save you. We can definitely upgrade you. We're going to. And we're going to be looking into the destroyer class. So, like I said, I don't like these yellow slots. So we'll take the torpedo barrage. We'll get the pulse cannons in there. And let's get the fusion warheads. And we are still good on energy. Weapon damage plus 2. Or weapon range plus 6. And ship weapon damage plus 1. So... Either 2 damage or range and 1 damage. I'll go for the range and 1 damage. Um, evasion is not too high. So let's go with accuracy and with tracking. Command center does do whole uh, regen. Let's do the regen. Daily regen. Sure, why not? Let's take a look. This is all okay. Armor and hull points, which is quite nice. I don't want the other one. Let's save the internet. And if we can, I would like to improve the fleet. With all, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if this one would provide us with three ships getting up to 311. If we add this ship, uh, yeah, that would be 300 and in a bunch. And I don't mind going over by one. But we need something that will boost the firepower. Now, we don't have a lot of alloys. And we want to do something about that. Uh, let's sell you. We're making 20, so let's sell some of you. That's 600. Well, we could probably reinforce already, even if it's just one. But I'm worried about an attack. So, yeah, we want to be boosting our fleet. So, infiltrating the mining colonies. Captain Jonathan Archer's team has infiltrated, or has identified the head of operation and have captured him in his home. Questioning this in the arbitrail. Arboreal. Arboreal. Uh, the male named Garlic reveals how he had been ass uh, assured the uh, keramicide production at the colony was for research purposes only. Horrified that the pr um, prospect of his work killing millions, at the prospect of his work killing millions, Garlic agrees to help sabotage the next shipment of keramicide prov uh, provided a tracking device. To enable the Enterprise to follow the shipment. I think that's a great idea. How long will this be? The upgradation task. Well, it's going to be a long ass time if I don't unpause. Communication have been established. Yeah, they're not really interested in peace. And they are overwhelming. 
So the ships have been upgraded up to 200 and we are currently building our very first, so let's say, uh, destroyer class ship. On board. Um, oh, there you go, Captain Jean-Luc Picard, looking young as ever. So, it's a role model. We gained some experience. This is great. Can we get the other ship built in time? Mm. Okay, so the trade depot has only a range of one. And we're not collecting from anywhere else, so that's not going to have work at all. We could go for the other shipyard as well, but it will cost us 50 alloys. That's the one thing I don't want, spending alloys. Uh, you are not doing anything, where are you? You're down here. So let's start sending you on a mission. There you go. The Expanse! Uh, intermittent subspace re uh, readings have led Captain Jonathan Archer to a planet orbiting the small K-class star. Astonishingly, the planet is inhabited by what appears to be several thousand humans and a small number of unknown aliens in five small towns. Architecture from and farming methods are consistent with those in the late 19th century's North American West. That's sending a landing party. The Expanse. So Captain John Van Archer has spent several days infiltrating the primitive civilization. That's quite funny that we're calling our own species primitive now. Even though they are from the late 19th centuries. Learning that the humans in the colony were brought to the, planet, to the world centuries ago by a race calling themselves the Scarians. Who they... Sub Simply overthrew. Okay, so they've killed the others. The captain is troubled to learn that the surviving Scarons are now living in condi conditions little better than slavery. Worse, the colony appears to be on the brink of a race war that coupled to several... That coupled a, with several years of poor harvest. Wow, okay, that's not good. Um, we are not allowed to intervene. Let's try to intervene. Working with progressive elements in the large settlement in the North Star, Captain John Van Archer attempted to persuade local authority figures to improve the conditions of the Skagar... Skagaran? Underclass, Skagaran. That's probably how we pronounce it, most likely. Through this effort, the attempt has succeeded, reducing tensions and the risk of further conflict between both communities. A decision must now be made whether to reveal the presence of the Enterprise... <sighs> no, we are going to allow them to develop on their own. Because it, it's not on us to reveal who we are and what they are. So let's just continue. Admiral is gaining a trained fleet logistics of the second fleet. That's great news. So we're almost there with the very first ship. Now I know the there was an option for us to get another colony. But I just wanted to see what that option would provide us. Having followed the Keramsite shipment to a nearby system, the Enterprise has encountered a Dorian vessel. The Kumari under command of Shan, the Imperial Guard, which is definitely a great character, I like him. Shan offers the Kurani service to assist the Enterprise, insisting on sending an, en an engineering team to upgrade and repair various systems. The Briding the Vulcan High Command for its lack of support to the United Earth's efforts against the Zindi. Captain Jonathan Archer can't help but feel there is more to the Endorian's presence in the expanse. While the two vessels sit on the edge of the system, their sensors detect a massive energy discharge 
in the inner asteroid belt as a dwarf planet is vaporized. Um, further confirming the threat of another Zindi weapon. We are going to be accepting the help. Accepting the Andorian's help pleases Sean, whose crew spends the next few days upgrading various systems aboard the Enterprise. Jonathan, Archer and Sean devise a plan to capture a Zindi prototype weapon by using the Enterprise as bait to lure the Zindi patrol vessel away before allowing the Kumari to beam the weapon aboard and disarming it. The mission is, is successful and the two vessels rendezvous in the system of cloud to jointly investigate the work, uh, the workings of the weapon. Several undetected safety protocols were tripped, however, and both vessels narrowly avoided destruction as the weapon triggers an overload and the chemocyte lessed energy emitters. The Kumari is heavily damaged and Commander Shan is forced to accept the assignment of a small continent, um, contingent of Enterprise engineers to help the vessels limp back into Endorian space. Initial scans of the weapons reveal a number of potential weaknesses, however no clues as the location as any further prototype, so let's understand. And let's see, we're getting there. Can we get another? Oh no, no, never mind. Here's the Denoblins. Who the hell are you then? Well, it's science. So we've received transmission for the Denoblin Unity. So we are greatly happy to meet you. Please do not offer me anything because I just do not have the influence to deal with that. Please give me factions, game. I would really like that. So there's a fleet in there. How are the Vulcans Challenge your doing? preconceptions or they will challenge you. Still negative 39, so it's going to be extremely expensive to get them aboard. Oh yes, shields. Unlock component shields. I don't care what else is there, I want shields. Uh, we have a science ship who is not doing anything. Due to these guys. Survey this system. And then go... Here, here, and there. So it's. I think it's going to be time for another, there you go, expense. Two population. Weeks long spending, uh, spent hunting the expense have paid off as a, the Enterprise has successfully captured a shuttle belonging to the Zindi primate scientist leading, pri um, yeah, primate scientist leading their weapon project against Earth. A male named Dagra. Captain Jonathan Archer must now decide how to take advantage of this new captive. The tactical officer suggests an elaborate ruse using memory inhibiting drugs and a mock shuttle pod to extract the location of the final Zindi weapon from Dagra. But the resources require, required are substantial. Hmm. Yeah, the initial interrogation reveals little beyond the knowledge that the Zindi apparently believe that destroying Earth is their only hope for survival. So let us uh, spend that pocket money. Captain Jonathan Archer orders the construction of a mock shuttle interior. As per the tactical officer proposal, using memory inhibitable drugs, Captain Jonathan Archer is able to persuade Dagra that the two of them have been imprisoned on the Zindi Reptilians for several years following the destruction of Earth and the Reptilians' substantial betrayal of the other Zindi species. <laughs> Creating war! Yes, uh, this, um, Degra reveals that Zindi were convin uh, convinced to attack Earth by transdimensional being who presented himself as the Zindi saviors. And I still don't know who they are actually. Maybe I should continue watching the Enterprise, but it has been struggling. I find the series a bit of a struggle, I'm sorry. I'm sure it has its... Uh, I don't know. 
I'm sure it, some people will find it good. After a series of fake attacks on the shuttle and the promise by Captain Jonathan Archer to rescue Dagora's family, the location of the Zindi weapon is revealed as Retri Prime. The simulation is terminated and Dagora's short memory has been wiped in an attempt to generate sympathy for their cause. Captain Jonathan Archer then offers Dragora and his crew their freedom. Unsuspectively, the weapon location has been compromised. Okay. So, friendly fleet is over here. Finally! Finally! Oh, yes! Ah, oh, here we go. We got two factions providing us with... We're going to be plus two again. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, the ship is almost done and I still want to increase this fleet. We'll be one over, but I think we can live with that. Let us make sure we have that fleet before doing anything else. So we are lacking 10 alloys, but I want to be buying a bit more. Don't want to sell food. There you go. So let us reinforce that. And you are going to be building the star base over there. Uh, it should allow us to border the Vulcans which is definitely what we would like we have beam weapon damage plus five and the NX class is going to be revealed as well as the San Diego or the San Diego Francisco shipyard federal shipyards and imperial shipyards by the looks of things let's do it so we got the NX class uh, thing going on and we are almost Nearing the end of the uh, the NX class mission to the uh, Delphonic Expand. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying yourself. If you do, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave me some comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.